Where's my key? Oh my god, I left my keys. That's not embarrassing. Good morrow, everyone. We're off to the gym today. Got things to do, places to be. Long time no see, guys. I hope every single human being is uh, doing well. I just wanted to start documenting stuff again because I really enjoy it. And I seem to do this thing where I start doing something, I really enjoy it, I feel like I'm doing good at it, and then I give up because I don't believe in myself. And how the hell are you gonna have a happy life if you do that? Like, like how is that? That's just counterproductive, really. People can probably see that I'm recording myself as well. <laughs> Recently, I posted an Instagram story. I'm not Miss Molly May out here. I don't have four million followers, but I posted about um, how I feel about myself and my, my struggle with body dysmorphia. And I got so many amazing, supportive, lovely, understanding messages. And it just made me feel like, I just wanna keep talking about and just showing like a normal life. Like I remember having a conversation with one of my friends a couple of months ago and I said, I'm so happy with an ordinary life because there'll be extraordinary moments in it. I'm doing it to look back on my own journey and also my therapist who I am pretty much in love with, she is amazing, talks to me a lot about actually how it's really important to look back at your progress and I actually think like doing something like a, a video journal or a video diary for my own self like growth is actually really, really good. And I did get some positive feedback before, so thank you to anyone, like literally any person who sent me a message or commented on my videos before and said that they enjoyed my videos because it really like made my heart grow about 10 inches bigger. On Sunday night, I quit my job. Now I'm panicking. It sounds like I did it, there's a woman standing in the middle of the roundabout, what is she doing? It sounds like I did it on a whim, but I didn't. I work in an agency in education and throughout the entire Easter holidays, I tried to contact my agency workers and say, I'm unhappy in the school I'm in, it's very unprofessional, I don't like it, so can you sort it out? They ignored me the whole of the Easter holidays. So on Sunday night, I said, look, I've tried to contact you multiple times, I'm not going in. Instant replies when I said that because they're scared of losing their, comp their, their commission. So, um, I do have work in the meantime. I'm working at a lovely, beautiful cafe. So we're okay, we're okay, we're not gonna panic. I know I am because I'm gonna lose my job. I was having a bit of a moment yesterday, a, a bit of a panic about life in general. So it's okay, we're just gonna take it slow. And let's start with hitting the gym, hitting legs. Take it one day at a time. So yeah, let's hit the gym. Well, that was fucking awful. Well, that was fucking dreadful. <laughs> I did loads of walking in Birmingham and I feel like my quads need stretching out because the pain was insane. I couldn't literally, I could not breathe. Like it was awful. So it wasn't that good of a gym session, but you know, finished on the rower, which is yes. randomly. Last night, my friend texted me and they were like, do you want to go see Paramore on Saturday? And I was like, I mean, I like Paramore. I know like two or three of their songs. I used to know way more, but I haven't listened to them in ages. And I was like, you know what? We're just not gonna say no because life is about saying yes. And as Michael Scott so profoundly stated, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. I'm really proud of you. So on Saturday, I'm going to see Paramore. <laughs> 
there were some really cute girls in the gym actually and they were like struggling with some of the machines and I never want to come across like I look like I know everything I was just helping the girl with her resistance because it is difficult like she was um, doing the uh, leg abductions so I kind of helped her with that a little bit and they were really nice I also got some funny information while I was at the gym from someone who I know there who works there about someone and I just <laughs> you know when you're like you realize that people just don't change and like you only have yourself to blame if you expect a person to change and I was in a bit of a situation with somebody they were not good to me at all this is fairly recent and then this person that I'm friends with at the gym was like oh uh, did you see this and it was literally just the same thing that he used to do when um, I was involved and I just thought oh, thank f I escaped from that because I so easily still be involved in a situation that is just full of toxicity and why does she do this every time she interrupts me it just was kind of a moment where i actually because sometimes you can think when you're feeling a bit lonely and you're feeling a bit like oh am i ever gonna meet someone you can kind of have like regrets about you know certain decisions that you've made but i think just hearing something small like that like my friend at the gym being like oh by the way did you see this and i said no i ha i don't follow them anymore and he said, oh yeah, this has happened again, or he's posted about this again. And I just thought, that's actually kind of like a healing thing for me to know that this person has not changed, but I have. I've become a stronger person from it. I've learned more about what I'm willing to put up with. Hearing that, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I used to try to figure out why people did what they did to me, but it's not up to me to figure that out. What it's up to me to do is to look at a situation and ask myself, is this helping me or holding me back and if it's holding me back then you leave hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked by the way just got in town and i won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Do you? I'm about to beat this bitch up. It's, it's gonna be all right. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Basically, to give you a little life story on Jasper, he is the most anxious dog you'll ever meet in your life. He is scared of everything. He will not walk on yellow paint because he's scared of it. So, bombastic side eye. So, he is pretty much scared of everything, and um, where I live, there are these things called crow scarers. They sound like gunshots, but they're not gunshots. Jasper is excruciatingly uh, scared of them. We're having to take kind of like little road trips away from where we live so that Jasper isn't scared when he's on his walkies. Once we get there, he knows where he is and he loves it. And we're trying to do exposure therapy because you know, I'm in therapy too, Jussie. I'm in therapy too. I get anxious and scared. We have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Now, apparently there's some cows in this field, Jasper, so we may have to keep you on the lead, but let's just evaluate when we get there. Are you ready? Stay, stay, stay. I don't think anyone will be able to hear me because it's very, very windy up here, but the view is lovely. <sighs> I lived here when I was a kid. We used to go sledging down this hill. It doesn't look that steep, but it is very steep. My old dog, Charlie, he used to pull me down the hill on my sledge like a, like a reindeer. There's a few fields that we can't go in because there's... <laughs> We're just gonna take a slow walk round 
Little sheep, they're playing together. Hello, sheepies. Oh, no, they're... Oh, they're bounding. Good. It says no turning. But you know what? We're going to turn anyway. So job number one has been ticked off, which was to take the poochie pooch for a walk. He's very tired now. He's sleeping in the car. I knew he would, but anyway. I've got to drop some washing off at my pap's house. I've been so productive today. I checked the time. I thought it was like lunchtime. It's only half ten in the morning. Like Cinderella. Oh no, he's coming. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly boy? Huh? What are you doing? Okay, you in your super 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 anxious I'm just gonna be honest and open and say that i'm not having the best day today but i'm hoping that you know as <laughs> as the day goes on my energy will change and my attitude will change but i'm just a bit like i just feel a bit shitty i just feel like today is one of those days where like nothing is going to go right i can or i can just feel it and i know that's because i'm stressed it's kind of good to distract myself by talking to the camera because i think if i wasn't i'd probably be crying right now it's okay it's okay Right, I'm running out of time. <laughs> so this is what I ended up wearing. It's literally just a little bodysuit and I'm just wearing this. Bodysuit jumpsuit. I knew that I would end up putting my hair up because of how I'm feeling, but I think it looks okay. I did like ready eyes. Yeah, we just played around. I realise this is literally the first time I've worn makeup on this video. <laughs> and I'm just gonna wear this because it might get chilly later. Trying to target my anxiety, trying to tell it to piss off. Piss off! This is just an opportunity to have a nice experience with one of my friends and just have fun. So I just need to relax. The things that I'm anxious about cannot be solved in the next couple of hours. So why stress about them? So let's go pick up the lovely Jay and drive to Birmingham to see Paramore. Why we 